Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. If you're looking at another uh, beer out of a Stone Growler, this is uh, a beer that probably none of you can get. But while I'm taking a break, I'm brewing up a beer right now. I thought I'd uh, review this and get this documented, and just so you guys know about this particular beer, even though you probably never get to try it, unfortunately. But who knows? Maybe Stone will uh, bottle it in the future. But this is a special version of their smoke porter. This is their smoke porter aged in scotch barrels. And the interesting thing about this beer is the regular smoke porter is I believe 5.9 percent. This beer it says it right here on the tag comes in at 9.2 percent. So picked up that much ABV in the barrels. So they must have been using some really, I can smell it from here, using some really wet barrels that just really up the ABV. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, I'm looking forward to it, got this growler fill, it was only available on growlers and I think they might have had it on draft. Pours out real nice, got two finger, just nice tan head on it. Uh, it's more or less pitch black, I can't see anything through that. Let's get the aroma. Well I smell a lot of scotch, a ton of scotch. Uh, they say lowland barrels, which they mean by that is... I guess some lowland distilleries and, and they uh, took different dis barrels from different distilleries and uh, blended them. So I get that sweet caramel, uh, nice light fruitiness to it, like some raisins. I get a little bit of a peat character, but that's probably just coming from the porter itself. Big sweet breadiness. I mean, I, I basically just smell Scotch whiskey on the nose. I mean, that's that's all I'm getting. So let's dig in. Cheers. Well, that's interesting. Wow, big long finish. For being such a low ABV beer, you're not used to this kind of being, you know, barrel age. In that sense, it kind of has a, a thinner, lighter mouthfeel than you expect, especially for a dark beer. The porter is just, it's really dominated by by that scotch barrel. Um, it, I, it's nice because you got some peated notes that kind of work with your typical scotch whiskeys. But you know, typically you find those in Isla. And I, I don't know if maybe there is some Isla, if they consider that lowland or not. I, I'm not entirely sure what exact barrels they use, but certainly getting a good peak character at the end. Up front, it, it's almost like you're drinking carbonated scotch. It's got that big, sweet, toffee note. There, there's some breadiness in there. Um, lighter fruit notes, kind of like, uh, I, I'm very poor at describing whiskey characteristics, but you get some some of those kind of lighter, like maybe like an apple, like a sweet apple character. Uh, maybe some pear notes, the, the kind of lighter fruit note up front. Uh, it transitions into, it's not really boozy actually. I, I'm surprised I'm not, I mean you kind of feel the warmth, but it's not over, the alcohol is not overpowering the beer. Midway 3 you start to get some of those porter, porter characteristics, some chocolate coming through, touch of a, a roastiness. The, the scotch character is just very apparent in this beer. It rather dominates, although, you know, like I said, I don't know quite where that peat character is coming from, but, you know, that could be a nice contribution from the beer along with some roasted character. Uh, it's Wow, it's it's a lot different than uh, the regular version drinks. It dries out real nicely. It's it's pretty thin but sweet up front. You get like a little bit of an oak tannin in the in the back end that kind of really dries out. Like a, it's a pretty dry beer on the end. You get some berry notes in there too. That uh, that might be coming from maybe both characteristics. I'm not sure. It's kind of lighter, like kind of red berry character. It's kind of generic. And, you know, there's maybe a little hint of vanilla in there. It's, there's got some nice complexity to it. it it's, it certainly takes the original beer in a completely different direction with it. If you're a fan of Scotch whiskeys, I highly recommend this one. For a lot of people that are not a fan of Scotch, uh, you're probably going to hate this beer because it, it's very much dominating 
the characteristics. So this is a really, really hard beer to grade. I'm going to go with uh, a B on it. Uh, it's, it's definitely above average, not blowing me away. It's, it's, it kind of wowed me in a sense because it's so much different than the regular version, but it, it, it could use a little something extra in there and uh, dial back some of the scotch characteristics. Like I said, maybe some vanilla beans added in would kind of help. Maybe give it a little more sweetness. I think it needs to be, a, it could be a little more sweet actually now I think about it. So that's going to wrap it up for Stone's Smoke Porter Age in Lowland Scotch Barrels. So until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.